Hey, good morning. It is Saturday and it's time for our last video follow through for the week. And uh, I want to ask you, like, when things get tough and, and when you're just kind of feeling at the end of your rope, like, like what's your go-to thing? Like, who's your go-to person? Now, now, I think it'd be awesome if all of us were to just like, with one great big shout, say, God is, right? He's my, right? When he's my go-to. He's the one that, that, that just gets me through and he does. But so many times we, we, we try other things, don't we? Even when we know that, that God's the only one who's really going to satisfy, only he's going to really help us. So we might try to get distractions maybe, right? It might be something that we, that, uh, right, maybe it's a, a financial issue and you've got that bill and there's just, you just have no idea how it's going to get paid. And so you just distract yourself. So, so time for a Netflix binge, right? Time to just kind of like lose yourself in something uh, or, or maybe you throw yourself into your job, into work. Uh, maybe, right, you, um, you, I mean, you just, you sleep more or you eat more or you do whatever. And there's a lot of those things that we go to. And we might even go to someone uh, who, who tells us what we want to hear. Now, again, I think it's awesome to go to people, but we want to go to folks who are going to tell us what we need, not what we want to hear. Right? So someone is going to give us the truth, not, not someone who's going to go, oh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, all the wishful thinking and, and, uh, and, and really kind of maybe uh, stoking the fire of blame and saying, oh, yeah, it's all those other people. It's not you. When it might be you, <laughs> right? It might be something that you got to change, something you got to deal with. Because God wants you to have that freedom. God wants you to know that no matter what, even when we fail, even when we mess up, that He's got us and He's there with us. And so today we're going to look at, grab your Bibles, let's look at Psalm 145. We're going to look at verse 18. Beautiful promise here. He says, The Lord is near to all who call on Him. Now what it it's kind of weird because the tail end of that to call who call on him it sounds like he's like far away and we've got to really yell like really loud so he hears us and he's but he goes no he's here he's he's near and so calling isn't so much right like setting up the bat signal or you know or, or making the long distance phone call but it's going look call upon him meaning like 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 ask him he's right there he's right with you and to all who call on him in truth. So he's near to us when we call upon him. And when we call on him, and this is so important, that last part, in truth. Because I think sometimes I do it, you do it, we all do it. We, we call upon God, but we, we kind of want him to lie to us. Now, I know that sounds weird. And, 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 what, and what I mean by that is that like God, just tell me what I want to hear. Tell me what's going to sound good. Tell me that it's easy. Tell, tell me that it's not going to require me to change or, or for me to have a, a difficult conversation with someone or change some aspect of my, maybe my spending or my attitude or my approach to life. That maybe I'm a big part of the problem. Lord, don't, don't tell me that. No, he says, go to him in truth. Like, like, like being, after you've been filled with the word, and you have this desire to know, like, Lord, tell me. Even if it's going to be difficult, even if it's not going to be something that I really want to hear, but Lord, it is the most, you know, important thing that I need to hear His truth because that's the only thing that's going to set me free. It's the only thing that's going to really make a lasting impact in my life uh, and, and, and help me with the real issues, which are, which are always things having to do with our heart and our soul. And what God always does is reminds us that we're loved, reminds us that He's here with us. And that means that He loves us. And that means that we have this great relationship with Him. Have you ever noticed how many times in the Scripture, like that's underscored and that's emphasized, that He's right there? So, so, so each day, each step in our life, each step in our plan, even as it's recalculating, even as God is rerouting things or the world around us is rerouting things, that we would remember that He's with us every step, every moment. He's right there to give us His love and His guidance. Have a great Saturday, and we'll see you on Monday for another set of video followers.